Hey teachers, if you're struggling with games and activities for your one-on-one -on -one class, I think I got you covered because today I have finally managed to gather six engaging one-on-one -on -one ESL games and activities that you can use in any lesson. And the best part about them is that these activities can be easily adapted to different levels and they're great for engaging that lonely bored student while helping them practice beautiful language skills at the same time and you don't actually need to prepare a thing except in a couple of them where you need to use scissors let's go Our first activity is 20 questions. Think of a person, place, or object. The student will ask up to 20 yes-no questions to guess what you're thinking of. You can only respond with yes, no, or I don't know. After the student guesses correctly, I always like to switch roles. Sometimes I tend to limit the topic to a specific category like animals, food, or celebrities to make it more focused. The second activity is two truths and a lie. If you've been watching me and my ESL content, you probably saw this activity coming. I just love two truths and a lie. So the student says three statements about themselves, two true and one lie. You have to guess which one is the lie. After the guess, the student reveals which statement was the lie and then we switch roles. I love to ask some follow-up questions and I absolutely encourage you to. I also encourage you to use a theme, for example, travel, hobbies, or family for every round to target a specific vocabulary and to make things more exciting. Third is picture description featuring the WH questions. Show the student a detailed picture. It could be an actual photograph or a picture in your phone. I personally like to go with anime landscapes because they're so pretty, but they're also very detailed and can help boost their imagination. The student must describe the picture in as much detail as possible using the WH questions as a guide. Number four is card matching. Use two sets of flashcards or mini cards with only words on one set and pictures on the other. Mix the cards and place them face down. Set a timer and ask the student to match the words to the right pictures as fast as they could. You can repeat the next class to review the words. It's best if you focus on a specific topic to make it easier for them. Number five is sentence building challenge. Provide the student with a list of random words. The student must use those words to create a grammatically correct sentence. When they get the hang of this activity, try to challenge them to make more complex sentences by adding extra nouns or adjectives or the lovely adverbs. You can also give them a specific grammatical focus, such as using the past tense, for example. It's an amazing practice for sentence and structure and word order. Last but certainly not least, dictionary. Write a list of words on cards. Take turns drawing a picture of the word while the other person guesses what it is. The drawer cannot speak or write any letters, you know the rules. If the student guesses correctly, they earn a point. If not, you can give hints and then reveal the answer. I'd prefer to switch rules after a set time or after a few rounds. Here, try to use a specific categories like things in the kitchen or places or emotions or any topic you're covering that lesson that's pretty much it if you're looking for ready to use one-on-one -on -one esl worksheets or games feel free to visit my tpt store i'll keep the link in the description thank you for being with me today see you in the next one take care until then